Hey guys, welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you all of my best and most favorite kitchen cleaning tips of all time. So these are the ones that are tried and true and that I've been using and sharing for the last four or five years on YouTube. I got you covered on all areas of the kitchen and I'm also sharing all of my most loved favorite cleaning products. There's a couple ways I like to deep clean the sink and I love the barkeeper's friend. This is gonna remove any mineral deposits, any oily residues, everyday buildup like grime, grease, most stains. I love the spray. They also have it in a cream cleanser and a powder, but I do like the spray and the cream the best. So I coat it on there real thick using a sponge. I use the soft side of the sponge. You don't wanna use the scrubby side because you don't want to take a chance and scratch your stainless steel and this stuff also works great to clean your sink grate so if you have a sink grate at the bottom of your sink which i highly recommend because it's going to protect the bottom of your sink i feel like it's really just help things be easier especially when you're like washing fruit and stuff it's also great for cleaning your sink catcher or whatever you want to call it i also like to run mine in the dishwasher to give it a good clean but I always let it just sit and soak for a few minutes and then I go in with hot water and I rinse everything down. Another way I like to clean it is with the gel cleanser version of the Barkeeper's Friend. Also works great. I love this stuff for using my shower glass. Removes all of the mineral deposits and any hard water build up and then I like to go in after and use this is just rubbing alcohol to sanitize the sink I let it sit in there for like a minute alcohol dries very quick and then I'll go in and buff it and my sink looks sparkling and brand new rubbing alcohol is also great for polishing your faucets getting everything not only nice and sanitized but shiny and sparkling clean so the deep clean with the barkeeper's friend, I'll do like once a week. And then other days I just use the Dawn spray foam. Works awesome at cleaning the sink. Love the spray foam version. I just use the soft side of the sponge and go ahead and give it a scrub. And then I love using the Method multi-purpose cleaner to clean like the faucets, all the handles. So here's an easy way that I clean my dishwasher using vinegar and baking soda. And again, you wanna make sure you're checking your filter. It's really easy, it just unscrews. And you can see inside all the grime and junk. Mine's not too bad here, but I take that out first and I give it a good scrub. I like to use the Dawn Power Wash again for this with a bristle brush. And I also get in there with a toothbrush. Once that's nice and clean, I give it a good rinse with some hot water and then I put back the filter. Again, you just screw it into place. So you're gonna do two different washes. The first wash is gonna be with the white vinegar. I just fill up a cup and then just place it in the top rack of your dishwasher. I put mine on heavy duty for the first wash to just make sure everything is really getting cleaned and just scaled run that that's going to take a few hours and then the second wash you're going to take a cup of baking soda and you're just going to sprinkle that in the bottom of your dishwasher very generously and it's has that good abrasion in there so it's going to get in there and remove any remaining debris and get it nice and shiny and clean and i just put that one on normal so once that cycle is done you can see how sparkling and clean the dishwasher is I finished it up with cleaning the outside. I love the Weeman or the Wyman stainless steel wipes. These are the best. In my opinion, there is just nothing easier than these wipes and they work amazing. So there's gonna be like a little trace of like a film or like a foam after, but it dissolves. If it's really bothering you, you can go in with like a microfiber cloth and clean it down right away. Here's how I clean my stainless steel hood. So I take a wet microfiber cloth and I take the Dawn Power Wash and I spray it on. You don't wanna go too crazy, but you do wanna get enough on there 
to get in there and really remove any caked on residue or buildup. If you have like a ton of grime, you might need to get in there with like a steamer, a hand steamer, and that will loosen it. And then I just go right over it with the stainless steel wipes and wipe it down and it comes out so nice. Now moving on to the filters, there's two ways that I like to do this depending on how dirty they are. The first way is to also use the Dawn Power Wash. I let it soak for a while. I use a little toothbrush. I get in there and get all the grease off. And then you wanna make sure you wash it thoroughly with some hot water just to remove any excess soap. Let them air dry for quite a while. Make sure they're nice and dry and then you just click them back into place. Super easy. Second way I like to clean it, if they're really gross and it's been a while, you're gonna need to get in there with something more heavy duty like the Dawn degreaser. Make sure you use gloves when you're using this. Let it soak in for a while. Again, going in with a toothbrush works like magic. Now to clean my air fryer, here's another one that I have a couple different methods. One including the Dawn degreaser that works amazing. The first way, is using the barkeeper's friend. I love this. It's great for so many different metals and so many different purposes within your kitchen. And then if it's really nasty and stubborn, you're gonna wanna go in with the Dawn degreaser. And that's going to really pick up everything, all the grime and the grease. And you'll see here in a second, incorporating this quick reel I did over on Instagram. So you can see I'm filling it up and letting it soak with hot water. You want to make sure you get it and let it soak for a while. Now you can see, look at all that caked on, gross. Go in one more time. Then I like to go in with a Brillo pad, give it a good scrub, and it comes out perfect. Or just use a liner and you won't have to do any of this. So to clean my stove top, if it's really gross, I'll go in again with the barkeeper's friend. But since I try to keep it pretty clean, I just use a little bit of dish soap and water and a microfiber cloth and it keeps my stovetop nice and clean and does the trick every time. Dish soap and water is also the way I like to clean my backsplash. Now this is marble, so you wanna make sure that you are cleaning it. That cleaning pretty much after my, every um, time you cook. Door handles Otherwise, and knobs you're gonna need to use a harsher cleaner to get it out and it's not gonna be friendly on the marble. So I like to just make it nice and clean and keep up with it. I have some stains within the grout that I like to use the Tylex with bleach. Very careful not to get it, you know, in the marble because it is porous, but I just get it in those really dirty nooks and crannies and it works perfect. For my countertops, love this product. This is specifically formulated for granite and stone. What I love about this is it is a disinfectant. So I will spray it on, let it soak for about 10 minutes or whatever the label says on the back of the bottle and you're good to go. I also love their other product, which is specific for quartz, and it is for cleaning and shining. Now, I don't know that it's a disinfectant, but I will tell you that my quartz is super shiny, so I will typically do the disinfectant first and then go in with this. Now, to clean the handles, because all of my handles are, they are like a crystal, I just use a multi-purpose cleaner, like um, you can use like a Windex, it comes out perfect. Now for my cabinets, I've been loving the Bona. This is specific for cabinetry. You get in there and it's going to make everything look nice and clean and no grime or greasy caked on. Now it is maybe one of the thing that, things that get overlooked in your kitchen. So if it's been a while, you might want to get in there with a steamer to release any caked on grime or grease and then just go in with a little soap and water after and it will pull up any of that gross caked on residue. So this is the most used item in my kitchen and it is our Keurig coffee maker using just soap and water cleaning the outside and then I'm gonna give it a deep clean and just scale it. So there's a couple ways that you can do this. You can use vinegar to descale it, which is easy the way I prefer, or you can also use, it's called quick clean and it is specific, like a little pod that's going to clean um, like the brew of the coffee maker. It's not going to descale the water tank, which is something that you're still gonna need to do. So the Keurig should let you know when it's time to descale, you'll see that blinking red button. You're gonna wanna unplug the coffee maker first, remove the tank and 
go in and remove your filter. It's super easy. It just snaps off the bottom. And I buy like a 10 pack from Amazon. I'll link it down below in the description. And I like to replace my filter. I forget what the recommended time is, but I, I replace it probably more frequently than not. So you're going to get a quart of vinegar and just dump it in the tank. Let it soak in there for quite a while. And then I like to start by running the first cup and you're going to want to do this probably three times it takes for mine at least and you can see after the first cup there's still some debris and it's kind of grimy and gross go in again it's going to be a little bit more clear and by the third time it should be perfectly crystal clear as you can see we're almost there i'm going to run it through one more time and then you'll notice that the light did come off and it is ready to go so now I go in and I'm going to add water to the tank and then you're going to want to run it through a few times because the last thing you're going to want is to have any trace of vinegar mixed into your coffee or your tea. Absolutely disgusting. So I typically let it go through like three runs and then I'm good to go and you can't, you know, taste any trace of that vinegar. So then I like to replace my filter, pop that back in. And it's all set and ready to go. For my floors, I figured I would just also quickly include this. I like to use a robotic vacuum. This is nice to just run when you're doing other things. And then I like to steam my floors. And I like to put in a couple drops of essential oil. This is the Shark Steamer. It is my favorite. I don't do this every time, but I do like to do it like at least once a month. Great for bunch of different types of flooring you just want to make sure that your flooring is sealed and I love using this throughout my whole house the pads are reusable and washable I also love to use the Bona hardwood floor cleaner that I will show you here in a second of course I think a stick vacuum is a must so quick and easy I like to vacuum my floors like every other day now now that we don't have our big dog um, passed away but the Bona is something that I do probably almost every time except when I steam and it just leaves your floors looking so shiny and so clean and it's just so easy. No film, no residue left behind. You can quickly wash the pads and you know you'll have it forever. It's easy. My last tip here is the garbage. So you just think, all right, take the garbage out. No, I like to spray it down with a disinfectant every time and then replace the garbage. I also like to clean the lid to my garbage because it will get nasty. Hot water, Dawn power wash spray works so good. So those are all my tips and tricks for cleaning my kitchen that I have covered over the past four or five years. I hope you guys like this video and I'll see you guys next week. Bye guys.